Hi! Thought I'd do another little video, find some more worksheets. Uh, this one is from uh, Journey into Wellness. So I've bought these ones, so I'm allowed to use them, which is fabulous. And I love them as well. Um, oh, I've got the colour version. Whee, there we go. So I'm hearing this a lot. I'm hearing, um, if you've watched any of the other videos or listened to me recently, you'll know one of the things I'm hearing is... I'm hearing a lot about people reading and taking what they have no control over. So they're doing that. They're causing this. Uh, when I see that, it's making me feel. And what I've, I've mentioned a few times, but I wanted to get this worksheet out. Um, this is something as well that you could do really, really easy on a, on a sheet of paper. It's two circles. Pretty simple, isn't it? One circle says in my control. And the other says out of my control. Now, as you can see from kind of the, the, <laughs> the face, it's so true. You could really get caught up in a lot of the things that we're hearing on TV, a lot of the rumours. It's never helpful, but I am convinced there are people out there that just thoroughly enjoy um, extra drama. So they, they instead of thinking before they speak, they, they it just all comes out. Um, and then what happens is it goes into our minds and we keep hold of it and we try to sort something out. If you think that your mind is like a computer, so anything that you ask it to do, so if it, oh, what am I going to do about that? Oh, my goodness, look at them. Why are they doing that? If you take away the emotion from that, you've just given your brain a request. So your brain, like a computer, you might as well have just tapped into Google. What am I going to do about that? And your brain then goes away and tries to find some solutions. And because there's no solutions, because it's nothing to do with us, because it's not our behaviour, the only thing we can control is our self. If we're trying to control other people, there's something wrong with that. And that will end up in us being feeling really, really upset. So grab yourself um, a piece of paper and, and let's do that. Now, what I have over on this side is one that's uh, as an example. I just love this as well. So let's look at the things that are out of control. What other people believe, what other people think. Because at the end of the day, it's other people's opinions. Um, and often we get caught up in what somebody said to us or we've heard they've said this. And you know what? What I always say to people is, well, would you go to them from advice? God, no, no, no. So why are you listening to them now? Uh, the actions of others. You just can't. We just can't. If people are stockpiling if people are going out every day if do you know what yes we can have we can have our opinion on it it's it's not right it's not proper but all that's doing if you continue to get upset and wound up about it is the only person who's upset and wound up about it is you so just think you know send a, send good blessings out to them hopefully they'll see sense but this is what i'm doing this is what i am able to do what positive thing can i do in the world today weather at the moment the weather's lovely uh, traffic funnily enough that's not something any of us need to work, worry about anymore um bills past death other people's time others feelings how other people behave is on there twice i think it needs to be on there twice how others react do you know if we i've heard this a lot in classes if if we do something and somebody else doesn't want to take it in the way that we have meant it hey as, as an example you open a door for somebody Take away the fact where we are now, but you open a door for someone and someone walks through and doesn't thank you. You can then spend the next five minutes chunnering to yourself, thinking, well, that's the last time I'm going to do that. I'm not doing anything nice for anybody again. Or you can just think, maybe that person had a lot on their mind. Maybe they were rude, but most of the time it's because they've got something on their mind. Don't change your behaviour because of other people's. You, you never know what's going on in their world. So there's some more things that are on there. Again, what other people say, the passing of time, some life stresses the future. And then what I love here, I'm going to come in because I just think, just make sure we can see it. Uh, what is in my control? My views and my opinions. And make sure they're your own, not what such and such a body said. And oh, and that's what they said, so therefore it must be true. What's your thoughts? What's your opinions? Find that time to have a think yourself. What do you really think? It is okay not to, not to agree with others. That's all right. Exercise. I like I went to that one next. Um, my goals, what I eat. How I spend my free time, the efforts I put into something, practicing mindfulness, honesty, setting of my own boundaries, asking for help, my self-care, the accounts and people I follow on social media. So, so true. What you're watching on TV. I know that's not on there. Oh, it might be. Yeah, what I watch on TV and online. 
who I spend my time with, what I wear, what I say, my words, my actions, what I read, my values, the time I spend worrying, stating my needs on the relationship. What others can you put in there? And how, with some of these that are on here, think of examples. So when it says my words, what kind of words do you want to have? Who you spend your time with? Put arrows out of it. Who do you, who do you need to be right now having surrounding you? And I don't necessarily mean in the house and, and who we meet because it's a, it's a whole different world right now. But who are you following on social media? Who Who is making you feel good? I'm hoping that's us, to be, to be honest with you. Because um, I know you all make me feel good. I get some lovely messages saying thank you, but can I thank all of you too? Because you're the ones that that I can see the changes in, but you're also the ones that inspire me. You're the ones that have the bravery and the strength to say, this is where I am right now. I'm struggling with this. Or do you know what? I've overcome that. I'm, I'm so proud of myself. It's it's a joy to, to meet every single one of you. So I'm hoping these little videos um, will will help. I thought it might be easy doing little videos on little sections rather than uh, I might do some big classes as well. But I just wanted to to do things while I've while I've got them out while I'm tidying them away. To be honest, because um, once they get tidied away, I might not see them for a while. But again, get yourself get your pads out. Um, I'll get some paper out. Ladies, if you've got any spare notebooks at home, which I'm guessing you will have if you're anything like me, start to do, start to make a journal, start to, to do some of these little classes. Write down things that have really inspired you. Um, some really good questions about, you know, we, we talked about what makes you happy, what's, what, what, what songs make you happy. Um, what is it that you're doing that puts a smile on your face? What's fun? What are you looking forward to in the future? So... Start to start to do a little bit of work ourselves. Let me know what you've done. Please post, take pictures and post it, or just give me comments or give me some feedback. That'd be amazing if that's okay. Um, look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you. Bye.